Yeah, you know when you come in here, you're gonna spend money. <laughs> That's tight. Streetcar. <laughs> How can you have that in this with those top? So if you guys could see, it's dark outside. I don't know why it's dark outside. Why? Because I was at the doctor's all day, waiting. Here now, I came back. Ant's grinding down his, his, bad. his bay. It's not that bad. So Ant pulled his engine, he's refreshing it all. Clean the bay, harness. Gone. What's gone? It all. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Engine's over there. It still runs, by the way. He didn't blow it up. When winter, when winter comes, refresh. And his bay has some repa previous repairs that were done to it. Can I show? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. It's okay. So he's gonna cut all that out, clean it up. He doesn't know if he's gonna paint it. He probably what is gonna- What do you mean paint it? <laughs> What? What, am I gonna leave the car raw? He's gonna paint it. Yeah, the bay's getting painted. We don't wanna tell him all of this, the, uh, what's happening. Who gives a fuck? He's getting painted the factory color. I don't know if you don't want me to tell the secret. What secret? I don't know if you have a fucking secret. You don't there wanna tell him. There no secrets to this. Getting painted gloss black, engine's going back. Oh. The cap just blew off that. That's it. And put it back in. Yeah, put it back in. No oh, yeah, tuck the chassis on it, whatever. No fuse box in the bay. No. Okay. Take it as you want. Stock seats. People sleep on the stock seats, I think. Yeah. I think. <laughs> pretty comfortable. Yeah, you got these bucket seats. No, no good. James has my confetti, so I think I'm going to put my stock seats back in my 13. They they're, be met. They're just good. Sliders work great. I'll trade you. What? Trade you. No. Trade interior? No. Hey, you do need interior. This one's not bad. What do you mean I need interior? I got it's 30 years old. What? What? All those wires, kid. Kid, look at how dark this thing is. That camera is shit. You're better off using an iPhone. Yeah, that's not a fact. iPhone. No, I hate airdropping and mad yeah, stuff. Yeah, figure it out. Years old. Mine's an 89. First year. No, 88, I think. No. 89. I think it's 88. My car? Yeah. No. Like, late 88. First year yeah, it's first is 89. Year. Yeah, but on the thing it says like 11 or 12 88 on your door. Really? Yeah, that's rare. 88? My door says 88? Yeah. I'll be impressed if it's, I gotta go look down at that. James is 86, got it all almost together. Is it an 86? Really? Year matching uh, chassis code. I don't know who put that battery in there, but they couldn't move it over to the left Man, a little bit. What? I put that battery in there. You gonna center it? You can't. This is just shaped crazily. You can't put it over here. Ah! Oh, <laughs> my head. Hit mine too. Fucking wing's so heavy. Put sh no, there's not even glass in it. It needs new struts. It used to say, you can't. There's all humps and shit. No, listen, what you should have did. Guard, shim it, this, that. No, word. mount it sideways on here. I like it there. Sideways. Yeah, on the side of the thing. Yeah. Just because it's a yellow top. Yeah, they fit it over there. I'm giving you shit for it because they gave me shit for it in the comments. They wanted me to hang it upside down. Right now, I'll put an interstate in it. They wanted me to hang it upside down. Yeah, like a, what do they call bat? Great. I know you could, the yellow tops, they could go any way you want them to. They won't leak. Dry cell. Somebody messed with my settings. But, anyways, the TEs. These I got from Tommy. Uh, these are 16 by 7 OGs. Buddy Sonic is getting me some tires. Shout out Sonic. Have to pick those up, I think, tomorrow. So, what I just wanna do is, they're kinda nasty. Take all of the weight stickers, glue off of it, you know, and that way, when I go to mount them, they're nice and clean. Not gonna talk about the damn tire that I got. You guys will see it in this video, the tire that I got. But I do wanna say one thing. Last video, you guys are giving me a shit about Jimmy's ramp. I was gonna get, I was gonna pay for the supplies. Spoon was gonna make new ones. But guess what, I don't have to now. I do need to fix the top of his trailer deck cause it's up, bent up a little bit. But the ramp was inside, it was like wedged up in there. He found it. So I'm sorry James that I almost lost your ramp, but I did not lose his ramp, people. Ramp was in there. So, let's, anyways, let's get to cleaning these. 
Why is my camera so white? Wheels are in, rear brakes are on, rear brake lines are on, e-brake is connected. We got the brand new BC coilovers. They are the extreme lows. The extreme lows. Got the damn skunk two camber arm. The brakes, they're good. Everything is going great. So the only thing that I really need is front hubs, which I was told that the parts store sells them. So that's great. And tires. Then this thing is gonna be sitting on the ground and hopefully rolling to paint. Going in over here, got some crumble cookies. Out James for the pro tip. Valve stem in a drill. Works great if you wanna remove the residue from the wheel leaf. Doing this one-handed, so mind you. Takes it off. Little prep wall. These, I got them cleaned. I don't know what this stuff is, but it, it won't come off. So, and I'm not gonna refinish them right now. So, with that being said, I'm gonna continue to eat some crumble cookies and take this damn wheel weight glue off. All right, so the wheels, good. Ready for some tires but I spent the last couple minutes trying to tie up the e-brake cables. My dumbass gave away the nice OEM brackets that the e-brake cable to the damn mounting spots on the car. So, I resorted to P-clamps, but the thing with these is uh, it's made for like a 10 mil bolt to go through, and the hangers for the e-brake cables are 12 mils so i tried drilling a few out for 12 mils bent a few of them twisted them destroyed them scrap this idea it's a good idea but it's, it's more headache than it's worth so for the other side i think i'm gonna strategize and uh try to get some different clamps it is a honda i forget that that you could just source this stuff from honda versus the damn nissan discontinued fuck everything and if you can see me now my allergies to top things off I had a day today you guys don't understand talk about it but I spent like five hours at a damn walk-in clinic anyways I need a new immune system I need allergies out of my life for good I think tomorrow I'm gonna bring my damn stock seats though 13 huh I Brian has to fix the skirt still in the front bumper. So there's kind of been a hold on the 13. Thing runs, starts right up every damn time. The paint looks great. See if the thing will freaking start for shits and giggles. It's been a while since I started it. Faith. Trunk light. Got lights up here though. Okay. Yellow top in her. that never heard that noise maybe it was the hood jumping I'm gonna guess I'm gonna hope that's what that damn noise was what are you doing making stupid noises I know it's been a while it's been a while baby but soon your time will come you got a whole new look on life That was the hood. It's the damn hood. I can't wait to rip this thing. Makes close to 500 on pump, 18 pounds. It rips. She is dusty though, I'll tell you that. Good car. It just works. She looks good and parties hard. Like her owner. Fresh oil in her, got no miles on it. 2023 is gonna be a big year for this thing. If you guys remember a long, long time ago, built the thing in James's shop. First YouTube video ever, me picking up the engine for this. Me and this thing go back. It's a freaking awesome car. Kinda crazy that I'm working on a Honda now, in my own shop, built this. Where does the time go? This car doesn't smoke at all, unlike that car. Pick back up on this car very soon. 
Very soon, I promise. Never even drove the thing. Got her running, stripped it completely, and now she's painted, so I don't have any excuses now. So stay tuned for that. But we'll pick up on things tomorrow. I'm going home, I gotta take a hot shower, take some Vicks. I'm in terrible shape, so. I'll see you guys in the morning. What is up, guys? Bubbly day in Connecticut, as you can see. We're starting off this morning, going to see my boy Sonic. He got some tires for me, and uh, these toe suspension arms that go on the trailing arms. He has so much stuff, so. It's sick to have him not even 15 minutes away from me. I never been to his shop before. And I watch his YouTube, and if you guys don't, go, go check it out. He builds some crazy Honda. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna film in there. I'm gonna see, he might be busy. There might be stuff that I can't show you guys, but I will try to uh, get you guys something in there. But if not, let's just go pick up these tires. New England Motorsports. That thing is crazy. And he's uh he's trying to show me the way to get some uh inspiration for my uh for the hats. He's got crazy shit. Oh shit. <laughs> nah, you, you can go yeah. walk in, it's alright. It's too clean in here. I ain't used to this. Yeah, you know when you come in here you're gonna spend money. <laughs> when you come in you're gonna get Give me bad ideas. Great ideas, to be honest. If you get your car to look something like this, my opinion, no AC. Keep the heat, I guess. You're good. Too much lines, but as far as the AC goes, I'm we'll, sh we'll show them on the other car. It congests it so much, like over here. So look how much room you got here, right? Because you're probably gonna have the factory water pump if you do, if you don't. But the factory water pump comes all the way out to here. Alternator sits on the bottom. You got mind, like this is a tucked radiator. If you have a radiator set up, it might go here, but. This is just one way you can go about it. And then this car can be a little bit different. You see the radiator setup, this setup's completely different. The EG chassis is a little, little different. On the EK, if I were you, I would do like an EG subframe. And it's a, the axle, like the positioning is a lot better than the EK subframe. This is good, you're saying this, so now I can watch Remember, this back in. EG subframe, it'll bolt up into the EK. I think you need to get two bolts, I think, from Honda. Mm -hmm. Where you can get the whole thing with the control arm. It's, it's a lot better than the EK subframe. EK subframe actually sucks. I'll show you, back here, there's way more room. Back here, the EK subframe is a lot bigger than that one, too. Good thing, so, what's, what's that subframe? From uh, EG, you EG. can get one from like 92 to 95 Civic and then put like a manual subframe, a uh, manual rack on here. The rack's still brand new, and that's pretty much the setup that you want to go with. I'm actually glad you came, because the 215 <laughs> tire on here looks good. If you look at the car, just the fitment on here is great. But this is the tire that this I... This is the tire that you got, but the okay. same size on both cars. I got a question for you. What's your question? You must be here because you built the Honda or something, right? <laughs> hey, now. Nah, I'm just getting some uh, inspiration. I heard this is the spot to be at. This is the spot to be at. What a Honda, though? EK, yeah. Okay. She's a coupe or a hatchback? It's a hatch. Okay. hatch. Yo, when you first got the car, I dropped it in one of his cars. I said, yo, it has to go K series. Like, you have to. It's a must. Then I bought the, the wrong K series. So now I got I to gotta sell it. So. The V3 isn't bad, right? Let's hear it because we got, we got some other people's opinions. You got those keyboard warriors online. I do the research or on the forums or whatever. <laughs> we know what works here, right? The Z3 is cool. Like we made 230 with it all motor. But as far as like for a turbo build or something down the line, it's not that great. Because like we sent out a lot of rods on the Z3s. But um, the best engine to get in my opinion, stock for stock. And as far as like if you're going to boost it later, is a K20A2 from like the R6 Type S. That's the engine to go to. If not, get a 2.4 from like a Acura TSX, a K24A2, Type S oil pump kit with a VTC, a 50 degree VTC gear. That car will make like 250, 260 wheel. NA. Kind of like NA. NA, yeah. NA will be super fun. And if you turbo it, I can make, you know, 600 wheel on E85, whatever. You can make 700, just depends on how crazy you want to go. It's, it'll be so useless. Reliability. K28 2 or a 2 4 500 wheel pump gas car, it'll be super fun. It'll make 500 on pump? 500 on pump all day long. Really? Yeah, 500, I will make that shit tomorrow. What size turbo? 
What's like the the turbo? So. The street turbo, my opinion, 62, 62, like a precision turbo. Y'all love the precisions. You don't like Garrett's? Garrett's <laughs> cool, but like for, from a Honda perspective, uh, either precision, precision is usually like the one everybody uses, or you could do like Borg Warriors. Y'all uh, love those Borg too. Warriors, that's not 2002. <laughs> don't listen about those people online, 58 millimeters turbo, you don't want any of that. 62, 62, I will max that shit out. You know, it'll be super fun to drive. Oh. Fitment on this car, like, I don't know if you want to try to get this. It's, it's definitely more of a chunkier tire than I'm used to. I, I don't run fitted tires on a lot of things, but I want grip. I want it. 205 40 is like a rubber band. So it's too, it's too, it's too yeah. small. Then you can go 205 45, but it doesn't give you that like meaty fitment. This you're gonna have to like camber a little bit, but. As far as like how it looks and how it rides, like this is it. I'm gonna go a different route. I'm not gonna like go crazy camber. I like the fitment on this. I don't this mind car, that. You can take a full turn with it, like nothing. Like I, I've driven the car around, doesn't rub. So I, this is like the fitment to go with. No big bumps, you be scraping. It doesn't no, scrape, no, really. This thing, I'll take a full turn, full U turn with the front, just sitting like that, and it, it works. I like that fitment. I like that fitment a lot. We got room, baby. Yeah, but if you had some speed, you're not gonna tap that. Bro, I took this <laughs> car to go shoot it. My fenders are close, dude. That's close. You gotta have some stiff springs on that. What coils do you guys run? Uh, K K2 and K1s. Okay. For the street. The K2 and K1s is like a, a really great street coilover, but like if you're looking for more of like everyday driving, uh, I, would, I would recommend like a Team Flex Z's. Cool. K2 and I have them on pretty much almost every car. In suspension. What's what's this that I need right there? This is a must. Uh, K2 and traction bar. So you ever see those videos where like, people are just fucking wheel hopping, yeah. breaking shit? This is like, if it's spinning, it's like kind of going. You know, it's like you, this avoids the wheel hop, so we can adjust like the caster with it in the front. It's cheap. It's like 200 bucks. Slowly well, we learning. <laughs> you can't. You, know, you can't. You can't do the right place. I think so. I've been meaning to come down here, and now I have an excuse to. Yeah, they are. What's up? I've seen it. No, I hate to see it. I've seen it. You look at the car from the outside, you don't expect it, right? No, not at all. It doesn't look like it's touched. Would you, would you think it had like a single camera or something? Or? You guys are kind of nuts for doing that. It's, it took a lot of time. You guys like killing, uh, killing gems down here. But honestly, you. It's like, proper. Would you rather this or a single camera? Oh, this all day. I'm for killing cars. <laughs> I'm all for it. You could appreciate them though. I, I do mean, have to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, you can because it is definitely hard to find one like completely stock. Now when, when you do see one, you're like, wow, it, it is kind of cool. But at the end of the day, like, what can you do with it? DJ. Well, just look at it. DJ came in here confused whether to go K series or B series, right? Yeah, You're correct. still on the fence, right? K series is the way to go all motor. B series is cool if you're making like 500 wheel turbo, whatever. But like, it's 2023, bro. I wish it wasn't wet out right now. We take me for a ride. That's what he I'm said. That's what he said. Right <laughs> we're going for a ride. You would spend all your money tomorrow. So imagine a turbo kit on here, right? Yeah, yeah. There ain't really too much room, right? You got to run an intercooler pipe. It's like you'd have to cut so much shit, bro. I understand heat, but as far as like AC goes. The thing it's is, a great idea. AC, we're thinking about on the West Coast, it doesn't really get too hot out here. So, the summertime windows down, you're cruising, it's not even that bad, really. I don't like any of that stuff. Like, my, my cars have no AC. None no of them? Heat. No, some of them. A few of my cars that I've like built have, I can don't see have heat it. Because it gets cold out here, if you want to drive the car, you know, when it's cold out like this. But other than that, you don't really need AC. Sell everything to keep it, so you might as well keep it. They sell everything to keep Listen, everything. The the yeah. Day, it's your car, you do what you want. Yeah, ex no, I feel you, I feel you. Have them drop in the comments whether they want to keep AC or don't keep AC, but me personally, take the AC out. And drop in the comments also if you guys want DJ to put a B-Series in his car, because he still can. You can put a B-Series or a K-Series in the car. We'll show you one of the B-Series in a second, but this is a factory OEM Plus build car. I'm pretty sure you're not going this route with the car. No, 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 no. The only way I have to do V-Series if you do turbo the V-Series. Other than that, there's really no point in going with V-Series. Uh, about the K-Series? Yeah, that was the plan. I, that's what I was doing. Yeah, you guys yeah. will have a lot more fun in the K-Series. Here's the V-Series guys in the comments right now. It's angry. Can we crack this? Can we crack this? <laughs> so DJ, I peeked at it. I peeked at it. How, you seen the car in video, right? Yeah, yeah. Now seeing it in person, like, what do you think? It looks better in person. I mean, videos and pictures don't do cars justice. This thing is... 
immaculate. I'm not gonna say the mileage, but it's impressive. <laughs> it's impressive. Super impressive to see this. I don't know what they're doing. Put it on the ground. So <laughs> Be serious part two. So pretty much this car is a street version of this car and all-wheel drive. This car is front-wheel drive. So the, imagine it's got the same motor setup, same turbo setup inside of a street car. And this car makes about almost a thousand horsepower. Wait, this setup is in, in this? In a street car. No way. Wait, wait till you, you didn't tell me that. You just said this is your oh it's rolling. It's not gonna that shit is so it's so light. I didn't I didn't Did know you see <laughs> one of the SI too, it started off as an original SI, a carbon roof. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this car went 820 at 170, 179, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Can you have that in this with those top? Oh, you don't see. <laughs> like, my favorite thing about this car is obviously the wheels look stock and the interior. When you see the interior on here, it looks like a factory car. Like, yeah, it has a few mods in there like shift light, the fuel tech, but other than that, cargo cover, rear seats, uh, fill, it fills up the fat, the gas in the factory spot. You ain't gonna fool anybody though once they yeah, hear once it the though. No, yeah. once they hear it, like if you're gonna. The exhaust is kind of like toned down. You can't, a yeah, it's like hard to It's hear. quiet? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty decent. It's, and it's clean, you know? What the fuck? It's got EGTs, you got everything. Still not bad, right? Like a thousand horsepower car, street car, it's clean. <laughs> it looks like, it looks, to me it looks normal, right? If you looked at this, well, look at the inside, look how. Uh, I like how you kept it full into it. That's sick. Uh, the radio that's works. Uh, yeah, the radio, everything works. The car should have a cage in it. It's a street car. We found a custom fuel cell that we took where the spare tire goes. Where's the fuel cell? Like, can you see it? It's, it's in the <laughs> spare tire, rather? Yeah. 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 And he made a custom cover up here. How do you fill it? Through the gas door? Uh, gas, yeah, filling it. You don't want to do like a clean? What? That shit is fire, right? <laughs> that is dope. <laughs> Street car. <laughs> so this same setup, essentially. This one has a little bit bigger uh, a bigger turbo. turbo. Mm -hmm. um, but the only reason it looks like that is because it's brand turbo. But as far as that's a 64, 66, 64, 70, so it's not too much off. This one's the all wheel drive, but that's the only difference. Yeah. That's mental. You came to the right, I promise you, you came to the right place. Like you're, you get advice from us, you put that into your car, your car will be a reliable street, like a perfect street car. That's all I want. I want it to party. Nice and clean, get it done right. What's the goal? Like, what's the end goal with the car? I just want it to rip, be reliable, just. A nice street car. A solid 250 is like it. For a little bit. It doesn't get old. Like, what will get old, I said 250 might, it might not, it just depends. But, like, I think you'll have fun with it for about a year and then mm. you don't want to switch it up. The good thing is you can buy parts on the side and then put it in after. But the main, the main goal is to figure out what swap. Well, I have it, so. I got, I got some thinking to do. I don't wear over there. How many cases? You came to the right place. <laughs> Onyx been telling me, he's been, he's been dropping me gems. Look at this guy. He's showing me this car and in the corner of my eyes, I see like this yellow valve cover and then I pan over and I'm like, what? I mean, you could put a Rotrex kit on yours, you could put a Jackson kit on it. Like, there's plenty of different options for you to pick. You yeah. Go with. Like some people, I don't know why and why it is, but all superchargers don't sound the same. Like the Rotrex kit sounds more like a turbo-ish. Uh, the Jackson ones, I don't know, they all sound different. Like, I got a bunch of different cars, they all sound different, but the yeah. turbo, you can't go wrong. Not a, not a big supercharger guy, but they do sound sick on um, a K-Series. It's like that high whine yeah. all the time. I swear it's I crazy. My, I wish my car was here so I could take it for a spin. I mean, you're literally 15 minutes from me, so One day whenever you're free. Out, I'll, I'll, I'll take you for a ride. Yes. My K-Series, even 220 wheel is so much fun. It's like really fun to drive. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> you say that because how much does your car weigh? 28? 2,800 2, pounds. How much power does it make? 469 on like 18 pounds. You can't compare because like, say roughly your EK is 2,000, 2,200 pounds after all said and done, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
the front wheel drive is a lot different than the rear wheel drive because you don't really feel because you're getting pushed. Yeah. The front wheel drive. You're getting is like, pulled. You're getting pulled, so it's completely different. <laughs> you'll you'll see exactly like we'll, we'll have this conversation after it's all settled down. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. New to this. New to all this stuff. But. So this is a 205 45 tire. Uh, we don't have to roll the back the back quarter, but you see how like the tire kind of like goes in. It's like not it's not as aggressive as you'd want it to, but. Uh, I mean, you can go either or, like, but this is just a full street tire. Is it a track often or? Yeah, we try to bring it out a bunch of times. We just took it out to Maryland. We went 820 with the car. The car is pretty quick. I had this car since I was 15. For real? Yo, crazy. Yeah, my first car. My you, first actually like drag race car. You never. I actually learned how to build this car in my backyard. We didn't know shit about cars back then. And uh, we practiced on this car. Like, this car back then, how fast did it go? I think we what, eight, like eight oh? No, no, ten oh. Yeah, ten oh. Oh. Yeah, 10 oh. Yeah. first came out. So what did it have in it? 2008. It had a B series too. When 62, 62. You know, had a full exhaust on it too back then in the street car. And it's the same motor from yeah. back then too. Yo, if you believe it or not, I'm, I keep same you not. engine. The I only swear. Thing we did no, it's not. The, I swear the same to God. block. Same, same block. Yeah. Speed factory built a short block. Had a four piston head. Same engine car. I think I was going on nine years with the same engine. I just been changing, I uh, just changed head gaskets and oil pumps. That's it. The second motor in the car. Well, the first one. Well, the first one. The first one. This was been in there for nine gas. years, though. But yeah, this second motor, yeah, been in there for a long time. That's impressive. The only thing we did was just upgrade the heads over the years when they came out with new heads, and that's pretty much it. Literally, we didn't change bearings, nothing. We didn't do anything to the block. Just change the oil pump and just keep up with the maintenance on the motor, change the head gaskets every season. And that's pretty much it. You ever heard like a full turbo car like startup? I might be, this car might start up for you. That one won't. I hear, well, Jamie's shop's like right there, so I, I hear them doing. I don't want to some, start up for you because of the uh, B series, but you might want to go. I it. know, that's why I, I like the way B series sound. K series, it, they don't got that note that these they do. do. This, one they, has, this one has a crazy note because it came down. They do. If you put the right they do. <laughs> Just sound good. Sounds good, right? Yeah. It's a cam, so I can make your 250 horsepower car sound like this too. <laughs> <laughs> because there was a, the reason it got me thinking about it, like this uh, white hatch went by me the other day. I had a B series, and I was like, damn, that just sounds good. It sounds proper in a hatch. Yeah, but if he was next to someone in case series, I'm like, yeah. They sound, they do sound good, but they have, they're different. They're different, for sure. It is, for sure. Like, I love both of them, but like, as far as all motor goes, like, it was yeah, cool. It's cool back in motor. It was cool okay. back in 08. That's pretty much it. 2008 was great. Today's turbo car, like, if you're going to compare a 500 horsepower B series to a 500 horsepower K series, I'd go K series. But if you start talking talk about like 700, 800 horsepower, you can go either route. It's reliable in both. Uh, put on good power. The B series is more controllable at the higher like levels, in my opinion, like for a street like in the 800-ish range. Because like the K series, you just gotta put a, like a big tire on it to get it to like the B series. You can get it to like tame it down a lot better. Because like the torque, like control the bands yeah, of it. The and torque on the K series is just insane. The B series is, is just an overall great turbo setup. Sonic, it's been a pleasure. Nice. Thank you I'm for actually, the advice. I'm happy you came down. I know. I got to come back on a nice day, though. You got to take me for a ride I'll and something. I'll take you for a ride and something like, that makes like decent power. And you get an idea of like, what your car will feel like. Get me, uh, get the ball rolling quicker on ordering I some shit. You, after you take like, a ride in one of them, you're going to get the ball rolling probably super quick. We'll see. You might get rid of your personal car. Yeah, that won't happen, <laughs> but I'll All talk right. to you, man. Thank you. Today was a success. Huge shout out to Sonic. Uh, He's good people. I uh, only met him a few times, but we talk on the internet often. And uh, it's good to come down here, hear his output on things. Because Honda guys, they got a lot of opinions. What's better, what's good, what's not good. So it's good to hear his advice on everything. So uh, let's head back to the shop. Well, I had to get my blood taken. A little weir yearly checkup, you know, it's good to do that. Every couple months make sure everything's good I almost passed out felt real woozy it's terrible oh so, um 
I might just drop these off and we will mount them either tomorrow. If you guys are into Hondas and wanna see crazy Honda builds, definitely go check out his channel. He's always doing crazy stuff. Uh, for instance, he took his brother's like, I don't know the year of it, it was like an all original SI, 90 something, low, low miles. He took it and now they're case swapping it, all wheel drive swapping it. It's gonna make crazy power. So go give his channel a follow, tell him I sent you and uh, maybe he can uh, assist me in building a proper K-Series hatch. He knows what I want, it would be sick. So go show him some love. I honestly felt like I was gonna pass out. I don't know why I've been passing out recently, but it's becoming a thing. Chunky, chunky wheel setup coming soon. TE's coming soon. Stay tuned and uh, hopefully next video we have it on the ground and driving. So I'll see you guys then.